Hey, this is Chad and Dalton here at Coyote Classics, and today we're going to test drive and then check out this 10th anniversary 1979 Pontiac Trans Am. Now this is a nice car. It, it's a damn nice one. I mean, this is a 78,560 original mile car. Feel that shift? Wow. Brakes are perfect. No pull left or right. Steering wheel straight. Tachometer. It's idling right now at about uh, 7,500 RPM. Uh, oil pressure is over 40. Temperature gauge works. Tack works. Speedometer works. Original radio works. AM FM 8 track. Together a sample. And I Crazy. And they, they did not make many 10th anniversaries Here's like one this. of the best things. Factory air works with those ice cold. Rear to frost works. Amp gauge. Gas gauge. Cruise. <laughs> Cruise work. I, I think everything works. We'll check the cruise in a little bit, but it is a sweetheart, isn't it? Beautiful interior too. T tops. Hell yeah, she That's got the drums. There we go. Holy! Oh, I, I forgot these seventy nines could do something like that. Next person that gives us any shit about a four hundred three old motor being a pooch, check that out. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you can do it. You can have. I was impressed. I didn't think we'd get any tires to go, let alone get it sideways. 78,561 actual miles. Immaculate condition. So the temp gauge is starting to come up now, too. The four barrel kicks in good. Kick down works great. It's got that factory tax. Nice to have, too. We're going to check that cruise. I, it does. It works. Right it here. works. It works. Nuts. Why wouldn't it? I mean, the car is freaking immaculate. I mean, what a nice car. Super nice. Yeah, this interior is very clean. Headliner dash, all the gauges are beautiful. And if somebody, Dalton, has been looking for a 10th anniversary Trans Am that really hasn't been restored, I'm going to say this is pretty much an original car except for one repaint, I'm guessing, um, years ago. But uh, it's hard to find one of these cars. Everything works. Oh, very hard to find, especially with the crews working. Pairs. It's nice. Well, let's get her back to the shop, check it out a little closer. Let's do it. We know the Trans Am drives great, so I'll check it out and, and uh, see what it's all about. But I was really impressed with the power this thing had. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy, man. Like Chad mentioned earlier, just a really nice original car. Maybe one exterior repaint, but pretty much bone stock under the hood. Air conditioning works great, power steering, power disc brakes, cruise works, as we talked about. Um, just a fantastic turnkey, real deal 78,000 mile car. Sounds great. Idle's really nice there too. And I'm gonna uh, go out to the back here. I'll rev it up a little yeah, bit, Dean. Come for. That sounds nice. Dave, the the previous owner, um, his daughter took it to prom. You know, drove it. The family loved this car because it was just so easy to drive, reliable. Um, he had a tough time convincing the <laughs> the wife and kids to sell it. That's absolutely stunning. As we go through here, it's got the little chips and nicks, um, just because the paint job's older, and it's, a, it's not a trailer queen, it's a beautiful driver, you know. But uh, rust-free undercarriage, go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. Um, you'll see uh, tons of pictures of the trunk, exterior, but most important, the undercarriage. Windshield's in great shape. Couple little scratches in the bird. I love these 10th anniversary Trans Ams. Just don't see them all that often, and the styling of them, the colors of them is beautiful yeah, with that gorgeous. silver interior. The gaps on the hood are perfect. Back of the hood lines up beautifully. Fender, a couple little chips here in the up and down on the uh, fender. No bubbles, no blisters, absolutely rust-free as far as what I can tell here. A little scratch there. A couple of little rock chips on the plastic. But as we go here through the gaps, even the back of the door is in great shape. I love these. Mirrored T-tops? Yep. Yes, sir.
Um, the door panel's in great shape. Power locks. Driver's side works. I don't know about the passenger side one. No, no they do. Um, it does need one of these new grab handles. We're gonna go ahead and get that, we got one of those coming. Okay, so that will be repaired. As far as the door rubbers, it look like they're original, Dalton. Yeah, but they, st they still feel nice and pliable. I was say the seats do as well. And they Corner cool. of the doors, great shape here in the front. Carpets, the original carpet still. Hey, that works too. About hit Every, you in the head. It did. Everything <laughs> on this car works. Everything. Cruise, power trunk. Isn't that nice? It's absurd. Um, in the drive video, we kind of went through everything that works, um, which is everything. And here's another thing I want to point out. Look at the chrome plating and stuff like that, the little sticker here, and just the quality of the gear shift knob, the dash. If you're looking for a quality car, this is it. But it's just got a, a touch of originality still to it. Also, original seat still in it. It does have a seam split just in the stitching on the driver's side over there. Um, and we also have the uh, uh, dome light cover as well. Dome light works. Headliner's in great shape. It's got the bag for the T-tops here in the trunk. Also has the original, I don't know if it's original or not, but the correct uh, jack spare and even the bottle of the, the fixed flat. Trunk light even works. Doesn't this it? car's impressive. Yeah, it is. It's a nice one. This is a no excuse car. I mean, if you like the way it looks, you're gonna love the way it drives. Yeah, even the spoiler lines up correctly, which 90% of them are all goofy. Yeah, really good. Um, a lot of times these Trans Ams will have some problems back here too. This is perfect, back shelf is great. Top of the stitching here in the top of the back seat is coming a little bit loose, just on the very top there on that side. As we look up and down the sides, both sides, super straight and nice. Gaps are really nice here. Bottom of the fender is great. Top of the hood lines up nice. As we open up the driver's door, um, driver's door is perfect. Seam seal is excellent. It's got the original sticker still in there. Um, original door rubber still. These are I love that silver interior. Yeah, it's great. The only real, the major part around with the interior is right here, and you can just tell it's just the, I don't know if it could be sewed or not, but probably not. It's just the stitching. It's, you know, you're 50 years old. Absolutely. But look at the cleanliness of the gauges. Really nice and clean. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, if you're interested in the 10th anniversary Trans Am, check out our website, cavityclassics.com. Quality car.